He is the meaning of the word evil. But how did he rise to power? The Cancrasans presents Star Wars lore episode 3, The Rise of Sidious. Sidious was born on Naboo and in his early life he discovered dark side artifacts which he collected. He met Ahigo Damask who was supposedly a businessman but was actually a Sith Lord going by the name Darth Plagueis. Under the Sith Lord's manipulation he killed his own father and pledged himself to his new master and the dark side. He lived a double life serving as a Naboo ambassador and training the young Zabrak otherwise known as the Sith assassin Darth Maul. Over many years, Plagueis searched for the key to eternal life and Sidious manipulated galactic politics, creating the Trade Federation blockade of Naboo which saw him selected as Supreme Chancellor. To stay with the rule of two that sees no more than two Sith Lords, he murdered Plagueis and stepped into the role of Sith Master. As the Chancellor and Sith Lord, he planned the Clone Wars and headed both the Galactic Republic and the Confederacy of Independent Systems. The leader of this faction was former Jedi Knight Count Dooku. Sidious named him his second apprentice after the death of Darth Maul. After the young Anakin Skywalker defeated Count Dooku, Palpatine kept a close eye on him. He soon revealed to Anakin he was in fact a Sith Lord and that he could teach him what his master searched for, eternal life. Darth Plagueis was a dark lord of the Sith, so powerful and so wise, he could use the Force to influence the midi-chlorians to create life. He could even keep the ones he cared about from dying. Initially, Anakin reported to the Jedi Palpatine's true self, but chose to save the Sith Lord and pledge himself to Sidious's teachings. After this, the Jedi were seen as enemies of the Republic, with Order 66 wiping most of them out. This soon created the Galactic Empire. Years passed where the Galactic Empire ruled the galaxy, but Luke Skywalker and the Rebel Alliance turned the war around and defeated the Sith. Sidious was killed by what would seem an unlikely source, his apprentice, Darth Vader. Bizarrely, it is said he lived on using a rare ancient force technique used to transfer his spirit into other bodies. He is said to have tried to rebuild the Empire and actually converting Luke Skywalker to the dark side temporarily. His spirit was eventually taken care of by Empatageos Brand who dragged the Sith Lord down the depths of the force forever. Whether you truly believe he lived on from his death is up to you, but what we do believe is that he was a clever but very evil man. For more Star Wars lore, keep it locked here to the Kankrasans. Do it.